12 teams took part in the Women's World Championships. In the next hour, you will witness in action 30 of the best players who displayed their different skills in Sweden. Some of the finest players have performed four years earlier. Others were new to the world stage. You will no doubt have your own favourites, and choosing this dream team has proved to be very difficult. The candidates are all skillful and should each receive praise for the manner in which they performed. Be it in defence, midfield or attack, here then are the stars of the 1995 Women's World Championships. We begin our look at the goalkeepers with Brianna Scurry of the USA. We have a more modest crowd here. Lisa. A good catch by Scurry, the USA goalkeeper. Now this is where the Chinese can be lethal. The ball switched to Sun, who takes up great positions just outside the penalty area. Terrific shot, and a fine stop by Brian Scurry. The first work she's really had to do, and she did it so well. She's a very athletic goalkeeper, and Sun's shot here really extended her. What a fine save. They created quite a stir at home when they uh, won the first World Championships four years ago, in front of big crowds as well. And the Chinese have a chance now, and again, Scurry got her angle right. Sun tried to beat her on the near post. Well, that's a good turn. Excellent piece of play by Wei in midfield. Now Sun. She's so good on the ball, and drives on into the American penalty area. The cross is a good one. Here's a header, and a scrambling stop by Scurry. And the US team physician, Doug Brown, will be working on getting uh, minds and bodies ready for the third tie of the tournament and here's a bit of pressure just outside or just inside the area the ball gathered in by Scurry we must welcome a touch of the ball she really has had nothing to do in this match she clears long the whistle goes against Scurry and I think that the linesman has indicated that she actually put a boot outside the penalty area in clearing that ball. Scurry, I think, is going to be sent off. But this Canadian official kept things going and the Chinese moved sweetly forward. She holds the ball well. Slips the pass right. And then uh, takes up position in the middle, hoping to get on the end of a decent cross. Maybe they've taken rather too long. There are plenty of white shirts back. The opening is here. And oh, a fabulous save from Brianna Scurry. And she, who has missed the earlier opportunity, is denied this time by the goalkeeper. Who's no doubt congratulating herself. She'd done so well at she there. Slipping her marker. What a good save that is. Germany's goalkeeper was the commanding Manuela Goller. Had it not been for her repertoire of fine saves, it is doubtful Germany would have been in a position to challenge Norway for the title. Ball never came away. Minutes. Thumped forward by Esper Seth. It's taken an unusual bounce and almost beat the goalkeeper, Manuela Gola. And that's a direct result of the conditions here in Stockholm as the rain teams down across the Rosunda Stadium. It was an outrageous attempt on goal by Gru Esperseth, and it almost brought the Norwegians a goal. That's a terrific save. Made it a lovely flick on. But it was Pettersson who got the ball in the air. Udenes links up with Niemark Anderson. Udenes again. Scooped into the middle. Good save by the goalkeeper, forcing the ball clear. Risa. Well, the goalkeeper. It was a dipping, swerving shot by Risa, which almost caught out Manuela Gola. Norway provided the tournament with some great individual performances, none more so than Bent to Nordby. And the rain is getting heavier and heavier. Sylvie Nied, that's a good take by Bento Norby, the goalkeeper of Norway. 
He's only conceded one goal so far in five games since the competition began. Minot. Knight. Heidi Moore. Heads for goal. The goalkeeper's lost it. And just about forced clear by the Norwegian defence. Moore again. They trail by two goals to nil, Germany. Bollman drives it into the middle. And that's a good catch by Norby. With the ball so wet and the opposition so close. Sometimes difficult to make a clean catch. But she had enough strength in her leg to force that ball even further out of play. Mia Hamm with the throw. Hamilton. That's a great ball in. Four sets. Foudy. Milbritz. Just wide. Oh, that was desperately close and easily the USA's best opportunity of the match. It was a good save by the goalkeeper. She thought she'd scored there. Denied by Bengtun Orbe. All the USA at the moment. Michelle Akers unable to win it. Mia Hamm now. Still Mia Hamm. Lily sees a shot blocked. Oh, that's a terrific stop by Norby. To deny Tisha Venturini what would have been a sensational equalising goal. He tried to chip Venter Norby, but Norby's had a splendid gaming goal for Norway. The United States defence was marshalled by Carla Overbeck, whose leadership skills were always on show. Nicely done again by Maki Haneta. And the ball in's quite useful as well. A lovely uh, build-up this time by the Japanese, and what a vital tackle. That really was excellent play from Carla Overbeck, who spotted the danger, just got the tackle in at the right moment. Again, the ball broke kindly, but then it was rather given away. But one on one here, and uh, he always fancied Overbeck to win the ball. Very solid player for the American side, Carla Overbeck from uh, Dallas. Overbeck. Always passes the ball with a purpose, and the goalkeeper came such a long way there. She's in real trouble here and very fortunate not to concede a fourth goal cleared by Rio Yamaki there is Overbeck stylish in everything she does laying the ball forward for Julie Foudy Foudy takes the return pass as well from Debbie Keller didn't quite work out but yet again Overbeck forward and she's coming more and more into the game as an attacking force Lily Overbeck is the one here, directing the operation. She's very much a leader, she's pointing the way. And always makes herself available, always finds space. Very comfortable on the ball. It's a really impressive performance from her today. Fawcett and Staples involved, and yet again they, they seem to look to Overbeck. She's the one who dictates the pace of the game. Christine Lillett, the latest one in the move. Well, uh, she will add a little bit of pep to this American attack. The Danes moving forward with purpose this time, but that's so uh, superbly cut out by Overbeck. She read that situation well, but she's brought crashing down by Christina Pedersen, and in fact, look, she's saying that should be worth a yellow card, and indeed Pedersen will be booked. But it was uh, wonderful work again from Overbeck. Even at this late stage of the game, she's reading the situation uh, quite superbly. But she was uh, brought down an absolute cropper here by uh, Pedersen, and that was worth a 
of a yellow card. Venturini's pass, and so Kala Overbeck can clinch the United States' place in the quarterfinals. This penalty to make it 3 1. Carla Overbeck, who can really hit them, this time chooses to side foot the ball wide to Tracy Wheeler. It's 3 1 the United States lead, and that surely now is good enough to carry the States, the defending champions, through to the last eight. Li Ping Wang became one of the stars of the China team at these championships. Wang could be found sprinting forward on dangerous overlapping runs and firing in crosses from all angles. Well, the uh, Americans trying to win that ball back to still with the Chinese in this uh, dangerous sort of zone and again Li Ping Wang makes good ground down the right hand side and measures the cross in well too just plucked out of the air this time by Brian Scurry but there you see the Chinese coach Wan and Ma who I'm sure really appreciates the contribution that Li Ping Wang makes with those forays down the right hand side she's uh, a good worker for the team the throw short and there are plenty of bodies around this American uh, penalty area again and again it's going to be leaping Wang who's involved lovely turn and she's brought crashing to earth that surely was a free kick it is the linesman who gave that the referee wasn't going to make an award at all but Linda Hamilton went right across leaping Wang and she was brought crashing to earth and has suffered the consequences here she's down and stays down with this injury she's such a clever player she induces Hamilton into that challenge obviously an illegal one but uh, Hamilton has got away unscathed unlike Li Ping Wang who's still groggy struggling, as, struggling to uh, get up again and here comes the Chinese physiotherapist but she's uh, clearly a dangerous player when she gets into space like that Hamilton knew no other way in which to stop Li Bing Wang and uh, it's to be hoped she can continue in this game because she is a, a blossoming talent and the Chinese really need her out there but she's having to go for treatment for the moment Knocked into space on the edge of uh, that area Sun tried to get in forward by uh, Li Bing Wang There she is again, a little short, astute pass. The uh, spectators really appreciating the quality of the play. And that's going to be uh, knocked across uh, towards the edge of that American penalty area. And here comes Leaping Wang, a superb strike and an excellent goal from a quality player. She really has impressed in everything she's done in this game. And it's fitting that Leaping Wang should strike the goal here for China it's a lovely finish beautifully picked out into the corner of that net the first little touch was from Li Ping Wang and then she had the presence of mind to get onto the end of the return ball and crap Gru Espiseth of Norway could never have seen the turn of fate that would lead her to lift the trophy for her country yet her performances throughout had captain elect written all over them. Canada haven't had many chances on attack but uh, Silvana Bertini gets the wrong side of the uh, defender Espeseth here and she's done really well Espeseth there to make sure Bertini didn't get a shot in. That was tenacious defending from uh, Espeseth. She could well have brought her down but uh, didn't do so. Goes for the long throw. Well, the Norwegians do defend in depth and there is uh, Espeseth just putting one out but, uh, making gradual progress here the uh, Canadians they've had a little reward in this match so far because of the quality of the defending and uh, again she gets the ball rather tied up in her feet and it's Espeseth who gets the foot in just when it mattered She's worked tirelessly in defence and has made some crunching tackles. She has this distinctive throwing style, Espeseth. She's very energetic as well and uh, she's getting forward now to take part in this attack. The ball may well come to Espeseth here and it's a lovely deep cross and a goal for Randy Lehnan. 
It's another one for the Norwegians. Made by Espeset and finished off by Lehnen. Beautifully created and certainly the part played in that uh, by Espeset was crucial. And uh, an excellent finish by Randy Lehnen who had to angle this header across the goalkeeper and she did that very well too. A swinging cross, a deep one to the back post and an excellent finish from Lehnen. They want a corner kick. Esper Seth will take it. He scored Norway's opening goal in the quarter final against Denmark. Well, it's a difficult one for the goalkeeper, and it's in. Norway had the lead. I think it's Anne Christine Ornes who's claimed it. Scurry was always in trouble once Esper Seth's corner was floated into the six yard box. Venturini, the Shell Acres. Esper Seth is possessed there. Risa helps the ball on. Through Esper Seth. Esper Seth helps it into the box. Udines. Esper Seth is offside. And that was rather a careless mistake by Udines. Esper Seth was virtually standing on the dead ball line and was bound to be in an offside position. That was something of a lack of concentration there by Norway. Joy Fawcett was one of the most graceful players in Sweden and ever present in the USA side, she constantly moved forward looking for a scoring opportunity. It's an energetic run by Milbrett and she's re been rewarded for that and this surely is a situation for a fourth. Oh. Milbrett's cross shot just kept out by Ozawa. The ball's still in play, and there might be a goal yet. There is. Beautifully struck by Tisha Venturini. It was persistence like this that so pleased US coach Tony De Chico. Fawcett pursues what looks like a lost ball and provides a goal for Venturini. A USA goal is coming. Will it come in time? Oh, they're getting closer and closer. That was Fawcett. We're into stoppage time at the end of the game. Venturini. Akers. They're queuing up to shoot on goal. Oh, that's hit the crossbar as well. That's incredible. Over back. Oh, that was amazing. Twice now in the last couple of minutes, the USA have hit the frame of the goal. It might have taken the deflection its way through as well. And once again, Joy Fawcett is a player to be denied. Where in number three, Flang was the rock in the Danish defence very difficult to beat, and a player with an adventurous attacking side to her game. Well, this has been as competitive as you would expect it to be, and here Roberts and uh, Edison. Flang is very calm under pressure, and after playing that neat little one-two, gets the ball well upfield, well played by Flang. Jensen with this free kick, here comes Flang. Straight through to Brian Escurry, but Flang getting into a good position in there. And she does get up and down that field quickly. Flang bowled over by Milbrett. So with seven minutes of the first half remaining, Denmark have a free kick. Well, it was wasted in one sense. It was obviously driven in with the aim of catching Brianna Scurry out, uh, thinking that she might not have expected that. And there is some real beef in this shot from Flang just cleared the crossbar. Rarely did a German attack develop without Wiegmann being central to the move. She controlled play as if she were directing traffic. Bernard. Haugen. Niemark Anderson. Wiegmann. 
Wiegmann right down the middle of the Norwegian defence. She had Heidi Moore to her right, couldn't funnel the ball wide. That's a terrific run by Wiegmann. They say she's the fittest player in the team. She showed it then. Perlman. So Norway are edging ever closer to the Women's World Championship trophy. Learn. Wiegmann. Minot. Wiegmann. Bundeli. Night waiting in the middle, Norby's there, the Norwegian goalkeeper. Urines after this one. Astemul has the beating of that. Wiegman. That was her only option. Marie Ann Spacey plays for the historic club Arsenal in England. Her amazing long runs forward had defenders tackling thin air. Bertini and she's gone well here into the heart of that England penalty area, but right across the face of goal. And it's Spacey who brings it away. And Spacey again. Place for Arsenal and uh, quality player she is. And look how far she's gone. She's gone 50, 60 yards here. Tremendous work this one from Spacey. And just needs to cut this one across. Walker's header over the top. But wonderful work from Spacey. And she drives this one in and it's only gone wide by a whisker. The ball will be switched out to this left touch line where Spacey has done so much good work. She's very powerful on these surging runs. Gets into the heart of that penalty box again. And uh, just unable to finish it off. And finally it's booted away. Spacey. And there must be chances here. Gillian Coulthard coming in at the back post. Goal for England. Gillian Coulthard took it so well. It's her second. Spacey hammers it into the roof of the net. A perfectly struck penalty and it's another for England. Spacey gave the goalkeeper Chin no hope at all. Two 0 78 minutes played. We wanted to show the world we can play, said Tisha Venturini of the USA. Tisha did just that and scored the first goal for her country and was powerful in the air. So Lily, free kick for United States. Nicely floated in, great chance, now the whistle had gone, well I'm a little surprised at that, and I think so is Tisha Venturini, she flung herself at the cross, which was beautifully laid over for her, all credit to Tracy Wheeler for getting her body in the way, but when Lily's free kick comes in, Venturini climbs high, but the referee said that she was climbing all over Kim Lebrecht. Mia Hamm's made an intelligent run down the right. This is great work from Ham. That was a tremendous piece of work. Oh, and it's so unfortunate not to produce a goal as well. Great effort, this one. But so far, Brianna Scurry here has had a quiet return to the game. To Venturini. And again. Oh, that's a lovely ball from Venturini. Here's Mia Hamm into that penalty area. The close footwork again and the final finish off the mark. But she really does find her way into space and past defenders with consummate ease. Good piece of play from Tisha Venturini there to release Mia Hamm. And perhaps this is the time for the Americans to gain supremacy. Goalkeeper Hong Gu. 
Swung in by Ham, dangerous one, the keeper under pressure, the goal scored, Venturini. Tisha Venturini capitalising on an error by the goalkeeper, Hongu. And Tisha Venturini gets her third goal of these championships. Patience was a virtue for the Nigerians, and Patience also wore the number 18 shirt, a dazzling player who liked to celebrate a goal in style. Patience Avery. They do have some exuberant players, and here is one of them, Avery. Wadiki. And it's Avery again who continues the dash, and will get the ball across here. And lucky not to concede. bobbling around in there and Avery's in here it's a block this time though Wadiki it looks as though this is uh, gonna go out but, uh, well just kept in play and Avery with the header and a goal a goal for patience Avery and what about this for a celebration well, there's not a lot you can say about that, but there was about the goal from Patience Avre. Delightful header. So, joy on the bench, joy for Avre. And a goal for Nigeria, which just did not appear on. The ball seemed certain to go dead, but persistence really paid off. Wadiki kept it in, Avre found the net. With 122 appearances at international level, the captain of Norway, Heidi Stora, had nothing left to prove. After playing such an important role early on, she would find herself as a spectator for the final. Here's Heidi Storer, and the volley is just over and just a little wide as well, but uh, a very good try from Heidi Storer from this sort of range and with a difficult ball to control. She pumps the shot in and only just misses the target. Uh, Ornus has uh, already scored from one of these dead ball situations. Risa drives it in. And more. That should be a yellow card. Stora is not allowed to do that. Heidi Stora. That's the second Norwegian player to be cautioned here for deliberate handball. Well, in athletics terms, Norway have the lead going into the final bend, but they're tiring. And the USA, slightly behind them, are getting stronger and stronger. And it's simply a question now of whether the USA can overtake Norway in the last few metres. That's a wonderful tackle on Lily. And it's... Uh, Heidi Stora, she is in trouble because that is her second yellow card and she's off. And should Norway make it to the final, Heidi Stora won't be there. In fact, she bids farewell to these championships. The Danish midfielder Helle Jensen was expected to be one of the most exciting players of the championships. With her determined running and close ball control, she did not disappoint. Possession lost at the crucial moment. Rather similar to the opening game. Brianna Scurry hasn't had a shot to save in these opening minutes. She might be tested now, however. Well, she was across there. She got her angle right, the goalkeeper. And the final effort by Hella Jensen going wide. It's a good intervention. And now Nielsen comes into the move. Plenty of movement off the ball. Jensen. Oh, Jensen, and down she goes, uh, fouled by Roberts. Jensen again poses problems with a neat footwork. And that was all Roberts could do. Cutting right to, across the ankle. Here goes Staples. She's the fastest player on the American books. But she lost out on that occasion to Helly Jensen. And Jensen is still here. Oh, great try. She dragged the American defence across and then let fly with the left foot. And uh, Helle Jensen, very creditable effort indeed. 
block swept out wide by Kamerflang to Katrina Pedersen. The passes continue to go astray for the Danes, although it's been one back this time for them. And they'll have a free kick. There's Kelly Jensen who gets the free kick and I think uh, Milbrett was definitely the aggressor there. America has certainly created three or four clear-cut shooting chances. Tremendous run here from Jensen. Uh, disappointing final pass. Went straight through to Brianna Scurry. And she sets things in motion again. Well, that was a great run from Heli Jensen. Winner of the competition's Golden Ball Award was Norway's influential Hega Risa. She scored five times, and the watching media representatives voted her the star player of the tournament. Medellin. Risa. Oh, still Risa! Didn't really hit the ball hard enough, and she knows that. And a scary was fearing the worst. Look at this skill here by Risa. Mick Leboust will take this throw. Udin has got the flick on. Mike him down to Medellin. Risa! She's had a couple of chances now. They say she's the most skillful player in the Norwegian team. Well, no, Niemark Anderson. Risa. She's got round two. Next is Lorne. She tries to squeeze a shot in the corner, and she scores! A wonderful strike by Hegerisa. That was a quite remarkable goal. Hegerisa has scored in every game except the semi-final, and now she's graced the final with a quite outstanding goal. Thumped accurately past Manuela Gola. Zhao was one of China's busiest players. She was instrumental in everything the technically gifted Chinese team undertook. There's Tiffany Milbrett here on this uh, touchline for the Americans, and she's had a good tournament as well, but picked up by Zhao. Stroking the ball across midfield, it comes back to Sun here. Now again, figured in the move twice and a delightful ball from her this time. This is Leaping Wang now and there's some space here for the Chinese but Brian Scurry able to dive and get her hands on the ball. Jean with the long clearance, has forced it underneath it. Under pressure but did well really. Now Zhao. Sun again, who leads the line so effectively and she and Zhao have formed a very effective combination. Lovely ball over the top again. Some neat interplay here, again involving Zhao. He's become one of the more influential players in this Chinese team. Liu and Liu involved on the halfway line for China here. The Americans uh, always have plenty of bodies behind the ball. And that's typified their uh, Staples finally gets the ball away. Here comes Zhao and a good try from Zhao as well. And it makes Brian Iskeri get across her line, scuttling over to make the stop. But nice try from Zhao, who's got plenty of confidence, hits it with the left foot. They just have sneaked in. An outstanding performer was how the American coach Tony DeChico summarised the efforts of Christine Lilly. She plays with her heart and her soul, he said. And watch out for those free kicks. There's Christine Lilly now avoiding the uh, rather lunging tackle and she's back in the action down this touchline Lily positive runner whips one across here to win the corner Short from Gabera to Lily who's involved in most of the good work that the Americans are putting in at the moment and here she comes again Lily maneuvers a shot and a good try too kept out from under the crossbar but Kristen Lily really willing to try her luck from any sort of shooting range at all not been able to make anything from it. Gabera just running out of steam. 
Once again, the ball conceded so easily to Lily. And Lily's here again in a shooting position. Tries to get it onto that favourite left foot. Does so! And Float has shot in. Really, she should not have been afforded the opportunity of a shot there. Well, there's some urgency here. Oh, and that's a great interception. And Lily makes tracks hurriedly. I'm uh, lining this one up. Christine Lily, you would expect to be involved as well. They are the two here. And it is indeed Christine Lily. Good shot. Great goal. Fabulous goal from Christine Lily. And you may not see a better one than that throughout the entire World Championships. Well, that's got them off the seats, and it's got the Americans into the lead. Heidi Moer was the 28-year-old German attacker who shot on sight of goal, even when her coach played her in midfield. Minot. Heidi Moer. Prince is up in supports. Heidi Moore once again. Minot two. Free kick to Germany. Heidi Moore. Not only a bedraggled figure, but a uh, rather pained one at the moment after taking quite a kick here from Mick Lebust. Minot. Knight. Heidi Moore. Heads for goal. The goalkeeper's lost it. And just about forced clear by the Norwegian defence. Moore again. Well, this is a bright start to the second half by Germany. It had to be. Heidi Moore playing in the holding role on the right-hand side of midfield. She'd prefer to lead the German attack. So the Germans still two down and really needing to get back into this game as quickly as possible. That's Bernhardt's pass. Wigman on to Heidi Moore who shows good tenacity and good ball skill in these waterlogged conditions. Akami Noda is the captain of the ever-improving Japanese side. She scored twice in her country's surprise win over Brazil and in so doing ensured that Japan will be at the next Olympics. Well, that's a nice piece of individual skill from Noda. Here is uh, Noda right on that halfway line. Deft little touch from her to Handa. It's Nishina. Nishina and Handa and Noda, all gifted players, all confident and comfortable on the ball. There's Noda again. Very uh, good skills. All appreciated by the Japanese coach. And, uh, they've really led the break out here very well, the three of them. Nanda's ball in. And uh, nudged on into the penalty area, but Noda really highly gifted as you could see there. The American Julie Faude is in our dream team for her work rate. She covered every square inch of the pitch in each USA game. And so here are the United States now, camped around that Chinese penalty area. The ball in, knocked down by Mia Hamm. And the shot, the final one from Julie Foudy. Good distance on the clearance, and there's Foudy showing good determination right on halfway. And she does climb so well. They're queuing up around here now. The ball laid back for Julie Foudy. Strikes it wide. So Foudy's two attempts at goal already in this match. And they start from the back. Always impressive when they do that. Willing to play the ball around. That was Mia Ham. Oh, and a delicate back heel from Foudy. Back to Ham again. Milbrett. Tony De Chico must be delighted with the contributions of several of these players. Notably this girl, Julie Foudy. And the shot from her. This is not far wide. Foudy, quite excellent player. I'm sure Brian Iscurry is uh, quite happy at 3-0. Not to have been troubled more than she has on her return uh, to first-team action. 
Well, the Americans were always expected to be too strong for Australia, and certainly Judy Foudy's performance would suggest in this game that they will be. Here she is again, very much at the fulcrum of this move. Nice sweeping attack. Mia Hamm with the corner. And here comes Foudy, and Foudy's header finds a way through and into the Australian net. Lovely moment for her. And Mia Hamm's corner met with a full forehead by Julie Foudy, and a goal. 31-year-old Sylvia Nide made her 100th appearance for her country in Germany's semi-final win against China and was awarded the match ball. She also scored the first goal of the Women's World Championships. Bernard trying to find a path through that rather well, packed Norwegian defence. This is Nide. Morocco again. Can Germany get there? passing game going in the Norwegian half of the field and find a way through this rather compact Norwegian team Bernard Nide 15 minutes left the Germans brave a goal now Minot standing over the ball Nide is waiting just on the edge of the six yard box Heidi Moore too Nide What an opportunity for the captain. Sylvia Nide could well have set up a dramatic finale to this Women's World Championship final with a headed goal. Charmaine Hooper plays her club football in Japan. She was one of the stars of the Canadian side who were involved in some of the highest scoring games of the tournament. Well, Norway again can find no way through. And now here is uh, one of the players who looks so comfortable on the ball always, Charmaine Hooper, taking on uh, Oranes. Oh, that's brilliant. That's a lovely little touch from Charmaine Hooper. And it instigates another move, but look about this. Uh, for audacity. Hooper found good space on the edge of that uh, penalty area. Has to chase the ball away and then tricks the fullback and wins the corner. Hooper knocking the ball down initially. Oh, absolutely tremendous running from Charmaine Hooper. She's gone a long way here, brought down edge of the area. No penalty given though, nor even a free kick. Hooper, she's got some space here, just on the edge of that uh, area, beats Love Branch, cuts the ball back, surely now, well it should have been a goal, Bertini who put it wide, and Silvana Bertini looking to profit on the excellent work of Charmaine Hooper, and comes very close indeed. Can it's this ball over the top of the Nigerian defence that unhinges them, and Hooper must surely score, no! Well, that's a shame for Charmaine Hooper, who'd done everything else absolutely perfectly. She got into a great position here, behind the Nigerian defence. Agamanu coming and just putting her off her stroke. Sun had been a star performer for China on home ground at the 1991 Championships. Now entering the twilight of her career, she proved she still had a great deal to offer the game. Now, this is where the Chinese can be lethal. The ball switched to Sun, who takes up great positions just outside the penalty area. Terrific shot, and a fine stop by Brianna Scurry. The first work she's really had to do, and she did it so well. She's a very athletic goalkeeper, and Sun's shot here really extended her. What a fine save. But the ball breaks now for Sun. And she's got plenty of skill. And now they have to defend. Sun. And Sun tries the shot and it was a raking one across goal. Well, a regular goal scorer, Wan Sun. One of the star players in Chinese football over the last few years. One of the few survivors from the last uh, World Championships. There she is, a very good player. Chinese star player, Wan Sun. 
on the nine and the ball laid in and uh, Scurry makes a good solid catch safe hands they really are sort of snapping at the American heels now and uh, Sun inside that pedal area Sun drives the shot across the goalkeeper and in and it's 3-3 three -three. great strike and Wan Sun the star of the Chinese team four years ago has got a third goal and would you believe it we are back all square again in this match our dream team player from down under is Ian Notter she caused havoc in opposing defences and was the engine of the Australian team Venturini not wide is Manthi it's, uh, easily dispossessed and it's a, a really spirited runner Angela Yanotta Staples clearing up field where it's easily intercepted and yet again some excellent work from Yanotta they can do even better they try and build now and this is one of their more impressive runners Yanotta Yanotta's gone a long way here tremendous run from her the ball is back with Hughes the cross isn't bad here's a chance and here is a goal for Australia right out of the blue it was that punishing and penetrating run from Ian Otter, who's probably been the best Australian player. The cross was excellent. Weber stayed on her line and was beaten by Casa Grande's header. Top scorer in Sweden was Norway's Anne Christian Uroness. She won the Golden Shoe Award after scoring six times. Defences just couldn't cope with her presence in the penalty area. Well, Norway have soon created an opening and it's Oroness who is gifted the first goal. Only four minutes played and Oroness has the bench on its feet with uh, the early goal that the Norwegians were craving. Simple finish. Rees has made good ground down the right and uh, several in the middle. Here's Oroness and a thumping header from Oroness. And she really is extremely powerful in those positions and makes it count when the cross comes in from Risa. Oranes knew where that ball was going. Oranes. Still Oranes. Sweetly done. Oranes who's having a good game now for the Norwegians. Uraness links up with Niemark Anderson. Uraness again. Scooped into the middle. Good save by the goalkeeper, forcing the ball clear. Germany provided many quality players. Voss is one to watch in the future. In Sweden, she was one of the most elusive players when going forward. Now there's options to the left here for Germany, if they can exploit them. This is Voss, has Pullman to her left, still Voss, trying to pick out Heidi Moore. Mikla Bust gets it clear. Has never coached a winning Norwegian team against Germany in six years. Maybe his luck is about to change today. Voss. Heidi Moore. Liegman. This looks more promising for Germany. Broca. Meinert. Voss. Wiegmann. Oh, that's a terrific tackle by Espeseth. Lone, Voss, Austemul, Coleman, Voss. Tiffany Milbrett got her chance to play for USA when colleague Michelle Akers was injured in their opening game. She took the chance gratefully and now goes to play football in the Japanese league. And then when possession is lost, there to pick the ball up is Tisha Venturini. 
Here goes Milbrett, scorer of that third goal right on half time. She's done well again here. She wriggled her way into the penalty area, beat off one challenge and wins the corner. And uh, she's a player who is gaining in confidence with every game. Well, it may well have been a foul just outside the area, but she was strong enough to withstand the challenge. And here indeed is a chance now. So look how the yellow shirts are getting back quickly. It still produces a shooting opportunity, and that's so unlucky for Tiffany Milbrett. The shot drilled against the base of that upright, and then when it was swung back in there, it might well have been tipped onto the crossbar again. But 22-year-old Tiffany Milbrett, so unfortunate there not to have continued her sequence of scoring in every game. So we move into time added on. And uh, inevitably, the Americans pour forward with Mia Hamm, who really does deserve a goal for her efforts. Trying to win a third. And it's gone across the face of goal from that most acute of angles. And in fact, the ball refusing to go out. So they still have a chance to set something up. Forceful running again by Tiffany Roberts. And a third, it is. Well, two in two minutes for the Americans. It's Tiffany Milbrett's goal this time. Tiffany Milbrett who has a scent for goal finally striking this one and didn't she strike it well no hope that time for Ozawa she scored three times and assisted twice as China stormed their way to the semi-finals she really was a joy to watch Charges on, Linda Hamilton being overtaken there. Great work for the Chinese, she was put under pressure, Hamilton, and the cross goal goes the shot. There was no real support for Gu Yongxi. Oh, she's kept battling away in this match. She had one disappointing effort, one very good effort, and here she takes it on herself. Finally, it's not pulled to good effect, and here again is she. And she takes on the opposition and gets the cross in, just too high. But really, Gu Yongxi here has had a very good game. The one blemish in the first half was her inability to score a goal. But here again, she gets goal side of the defender. One of the most confident players in our dream team is Linda Medelin of Norway. Four years earlier, she had scored in the final against USA. This year, she would be the provider. Medellin, she threw, terrific stop, Betterson, it's two for Norway, and even Heidi Storer is delighted, four marks to Linda Medellin here, the goalkeeper just couldn't hold the ball, it spilled into the path of Marianne Petterson and her determination makes sure Norway have a 2-0 lead before half time. Ordinus won the ball, Madeline's shot was accurate, but saved by Guller, and Pettersson scores. Madeline, and then Stura, Svensson next, and a deep ball in from Svensson, and there's the header, angled down by Madeline, it was towards Ordinus, but the goalkeeper Chin does well here, nice little uh, touch in from Madeline. Haugen. It's a great cross, Saul. Sturry had to reposition herself. Linda Medellin got ahead to the ball and she applauds the cross by Haugen there. The most enigmatic player at the championships had to be Mia Hamm of the USA. She played football with a smile on her face and scored the best individual goal of the summer. It's picked up again here by Ham. She won the ball tenaciously and the entire defence seems to be surrounding her. Covered by blue shirts and uh, well, she bowls over the opponent and amazingly uh, the free kick is awarded against Mia Ham. Well it was a stern challenge, a shake of the head. And she didn't certainly think that the free kick should have been awarded against her. Uh, Ham, oh that's a deft touch, that's a lovely flick from Mia Ham. And she continues the uh, the break and goes down on the edge of the area. No foul. But again, she really showed just what a polished and a gritty performer she is. 
good player this and there must surely be a chance here and the save is made spectacularly by Ozawa and yet again the United States are thwarted it really did seem as though that Japanese uh, defence had to be breached that time by Miyaham set up by Karen Gerbera she struck it well and here are the United States now in good possession look at Mia Hamm go terrific run this from Ham. she's gone 40 yards here she tries to finish it and that's an absolutely glorious goal from Mia Hamm oh yes she loves that one that's a fabulous goal one of the best individual goals of the tournament Mia Hamm streaking off through the middle she held off the challenge of the defender Li Yong Zhao scoop the ball wide of the goalkeeper and Miaham takes the adulation of the fans here for a stunning second goal Callan Gabara who played for the USA though suffering from pleurisy and back pain and colleague Michelle Akers whose tournament was cut short by concussion and knee sprain would but for injury have been instant choices in our dream team they deserve their bronze medals for their battle in spirit Competition was fierce in Sweden, star players were on view in every game.